Although the official search and rescue mission in Haiti has been called off, survivors continue to be pulled from the rubble there. A man who was trapped for 11 days was rescued in Port-au-Prince. He was found deep beneath the wreckage of a hotel grocery store where relatives say he worked as a cashier. The man survived on cola, beer, and cookies and is said to be in good condition right now. Closer to home, though, a local couple is safe after experiencing the earthquake firsthand. Shreya Davis is live with their story. Yeah, that's right. Arliss and Barbara Plogger took a trip to Haiti to help donate their time and service to those who needed eye care. They were there that Tuesday when the earthquake hit, but the two had concerns about getting back to the United States. Once we got out of the mass uh, traffic jam that we were in, in Port-au-Prince, we could get to the airport relatively easy. The problem was um, a little bit of disorganization on, as far as getting inside the gates uh, or the fence. January 8th was the day Arliss and Barbara Plogger took a trip to Haiti, four days before the earthquake hit. You see, they were volunteering 75 miles away from Port-au-Prince, but after the disaster, it took them several hours to get back to the capital to try to head home. We even got sideswiped because uh, you couldn't get through, and, and our driver had his, his van uh, sideswiped just to try to get through this, this traffic jam. Although they were many miles away from the earthquake's epicenter, the two say they felt the ground move and knew something wasn't right. I thought, well, maybe a windstorm came up. It didn't dawn on me it was an earthquake. All I felt was extreme vertigo. We were grabbing hold of each other because we felt like we couldn't. We, we were just extremely dizzy. I felt nothing in our feet. The ploggers, who are members of the Lions Club, say this was their second trip to Haiti. They've never experienced an earthquake before. The two say if they were younger, they would have stayed to help those who were in need. But during this devastating time, they felt helpless. The people didn't need eye care. The people needed medical care, water, uh, food, uh, housing. The two returned to Bluffton last Saturday, although there wasn't severe damage on the compound where they were staying. They're hoping others will donate to help this country get back on its feet. Reporting live, Sharia Davis, Fox Toledo News. I felt really hurt, and it opened my eyes as well as my sister's eyes and some people in our community that that could happen to us. A new organization in Toledo is stepping up to help the victims of Haiti's earthquake. Members of Sisters Helping Everyone, or she for short, were out in front of Jerusalem Baptist Church today on Door Street collecting bottled water to send to those in need. Their mission is to help encourage, empower, and educate people in the glass city through various outlets. This drive is the perfect way to begin to give back not only at home but beyond. The water they collect will